This is a fun activity. It's called Some Product Puzzle. And this is going to help us when we are factoring, when we have um, pretty easy factoring problems. So what this is setting up for us is we're going to just start thinking of numbers that when they are multiplied together, they'll give you the top. But when they are added, they will give you the bottom. So what two numbers multiplied together will get you 9, but added will get you negative 6. So right off the bat, I'm thinking 3 and 3 will get me to 9, but 3 plus 3 won't get me to negative 6, so I have to make these negative. Negative 3 times negative 3 will give me positive 9, and negative 3 plus negative 3 will give me negative 6. So let's jump over to number 2. What two numbers that when multiplied together will get me 2, and when added together get me 4? This one's a little bit easier. It's 2 and 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. What two numbers multiplied together will give me negative 30, but added will give me negative 13? So I have 6 times 5, but that won't get me 13. Um, 30 and 1 won't. 15 and 2. So let's see. 15 times 2 will get me to 30. But how am I going to get to 13? If I do 15 minus 2, I'll get to 13. But I need it to be a negative 13. So the negative 15. Negative 15 times 2 is negative 30, and negative 15 plus 2 is negative 13. Negative 84 and 5. Hmm. All right, so I'm looking at some big numbers here, and I'm guessing we've got to have a 12 in here. So I'm thinking 12 and 7. 12 times 7 will get me to negative 84, will get me to 84, but where am I going to get the 5? If I do negative 12 times 7, it's negative 84, but that'll get me to negative 5, so I need to have a negative 7 here. 12 times negative 7 is negative 84. 12 plus negative 7 is 5. What two numbers multiply to get me to negative 24 that add to get me to negative 5? Let's see. Can I do 8 and 3? And if I do negative 8, negative 8 times 3 is negative 24, and negative 8 plus 3 will get me to negative 5. 6 and negative 5. What two numbers multiply will get me to negative 6? Or sorry, positive 6. That will get me to negative 5. Let's look at 3 and 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. That works. Negative 15 and negative 14. Well, if I do 1 and 15, make that a negative. Negative 15 plus 1 is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 1 is negative 14. Negative 75 and 10. Hmm. What two numbers multiply to get me to negative 75 that add to get me to negative 10? Thinking I need to come up with, I've got to have a negative, and I need to be able to subtract to get me to 10. So 75, 15, and 5. And I need a negative 10, so I need a negative 15. Multiply to get me to 12, add to get me to 7, 4 and 3. <clears throat> Here's another practice page. So again, we're thinking multiplying and then adding. What two numbers multiply to get me to negative 6? That add to get me to negative 1, negative 3 and 2. That multiply to get me to negative 12, that add to get me to a negative 11. What two numbers multiply to get me to 7, 
that add to get me to 8, 7 and 1. Multiplying to get to negative 8, that add to get me to 7, 8 and negative 1. Multiply to get me to 12, that add to get me to negative 7, negative 4, negative 3. Multiply to get me to 20 and add to get me to negative 9. Hmm. Negative 5 and negative 4. Multiply to get me to 16, add to get me to negative 8. 16. Negative six, negative, that's 12. Oh, negative four, negative four. Negative two, negative one, and negative six, and negative three. You can go ahead and take it to take a look at this last page. Okay, so we have done a lot of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and you can pause the uh, the computer. You can work on these, and I'll just go ahead and fill in the answers. Here are some of the answers. You can see for number five that. Um, it was a little bit harder, so you might have noticed that um, for this one here. I did some division work down here just because I wasn't coming up with 24 and 3 in the top of my head. I was looking at uh, 72 divided by 4. Uh, of course, 9 times 8 doesn't work, but I went ahead and did a little bit of division work on the bottom. So check the web page to see if you have any homework.